Our next guest says the mini crisis far from over. Joining us now here at Post 9, former Barclays CEO Bob Diamond. He's currently the CEO and founding partner of Atlas, Cap Atlas Merchant Capital. Bob, good to have you. Uh, why do you think this mini crisis, as I, we've been calling it for some time, yeah. uh, is far from over? You know, I think, I think to the point that uh, Warren said, um, no one's going to lose their deposits, but that's kind of implied right now. And my sense is we need policy in that regard. So I think a significant increase in the level of deposit insurance, uh, I don't think it has to be uncapped, but I think it needs to be significantly ahead of here. And I think underlying that in my mind is to some extent the banks are already utilities, so guaranteeing deposits. We don't want a small business in Des Moines to be responsible for understanding the balance sheet of their local community bank. Uh, and as Warren Buffett said, the depositors are at risk. The unsecured creditors are at risk. The management teams are at risk, which is how the system should work. And I guess also underpinning it, David, in my mind, is there's a real value to our economy and our country to have 4,000 banks. Uh, the service that small businesses around the country get is very different than they would get from, you know, the behemoths. Um, it's a different cost. It's a different touch. It's a different understanding. And so uh, one of my beliefs for a long time has been that our economy benefits from having the largest, most liquid, most diverse financial services industry of any country in the world. And time and again, we recover more quickly from, from crises. Uh, and um, there's a value to having these small yeah. banks. And on the other side, you know, the concentration of risk, the concentration of power, you know, 10% of every deposit now is at JP Morgan. Do we really want three or four banks kind of the way China has or many of the European country has. I don't think so. I think this is a really easy decision for us, and we need policy. Yeah, and, and to your original point, though, um, you know, there had been a brief moment where we thought after the receivership of First Republic that yeah. we were kind of going to be okay, that we were going to cut, and then we obviously saw the tumult from last week. Do you think we're still at risk of losing another few banks? I mean, has, uh, or unless we actually get policy the way yeah. you're talking about? Is it going to continue to be something that we watch in the financial markets and think about a lot? I do, and I don't want to be overly dramatic, but I think if we don't have policy, at the end of the day, people aren't going to trust that's implied. And I do believe it's implied, and I don't believe people are going to lose their deposits. But, I, but we need policy, and I think there's a bigger risk that we get more of this, David, tag your it like short selling on Friday afternoon and let's identify the bank that's in trouble and the equity prices are down. I think also there's going to be kind of a change in regulation on the smaller institutions. If you have the kind of the, the recognition that maybe the regulators weren't doing everything they could have done um, in SVB, which has been been written by the by the regulators themselves, then you know what happens is you get over regulation and the impact of that on the small on, on the small banks will be even more significant to kind of build the staff to, to manage more regulatory intrusion. So I do think we're going to see a tail to this. I hope it's not too dramatic, uh, but I think the risk of tag your it are definitely there in the market. Well, if you're if we're thinking of them as utilities, doesn't that change the, the model and uh, over the long term absent liquidity crises, right? Yeah. And is that why the equity is getting re-rated like this? The market's thinking like this will be a different business. Yeah, and I think, you know, prior to 2008, no one used the term banks or utilities. I think um, with the increased concentration of the of the big four in the U.S., clearly they're, they're safe. There's much higher levels of capital. But they, are they as agile? Are they as mobile? Are they covering small businesses and, and small companies the way that these other banks can? I don't think so.